Previously on Pokemon Ash Gray. Medicine. And there you go. Thank you so much for your help. Show my gratitude, please keep that bike my sister gave you. I'm sure she won't mind. And so now we have a bike. Okay. I guess she showed you how powerful imitation can be, even though I beat you. What I really want is to be a big star. I want to put on shows in my ditto and imitate Pokemon. That's why I opened this house of I might. Once I get up and running, ditto and I will become world famous impersonators. You did it! You stopped the virus and saved Porygon. Now we can transfer Pokemon again. For saving Porygon, the Pokemon being transferred from this center, please take this as my thanks. And we got an upgrade, which would be completely pointless to us because we'll never have a Porygon. Hey! Ah, oh, my boot! I was afraid that I have to deliver all the children's presents without it, and my toes would freeze. Thank you so much, Ash. As your reward, here's your Christmas present. We got a polka doll. Hopefully Pikachu will come back. Yay! I knew he wouldn't leave. Pika! Pikachu returned. It looks like it would rather stay with you. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu! The Pikachu are cheering for Ash and for Pikachu. See for my months. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Legendary China here. How are you all doing today, you all? I'm back. Well, kind of. I know it's been a while since I've actually had a chance to record any of this stuff. Why is the Elite Four music playing? That's kind of weird. Was that always playing? Either way. Oh, maybe that's because I just saw Pikachu, but either way. I know it's been a while since I've recorded, but school has started up for me again. And my duties... Hi, Eevee. We'll talk to you in a second. And my duties have been going crazy, so I haven't had a ton of time. But I shall record and post when I can, so it might not be daily for a while unless I have, like, spring break in March, which that'll give me about a week full of recordings. But anyway, let's go on. Last time, I think from you'll find out from the... Uh, previous episode stuff that went on, and we have an Eevee here. Hi, Eevee. Whee! It's an Eevee, but it might have a trainer. It has a tag on his col collar that says Stone Town. Maybe you should return to the owner. How about it? All right. Well, I guess we have an Eevee. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh, it's such a quirky little Eevee. Eh. Thought maybe it'd have some type of special move or anything. Either way, Stone Town. I think I remember this episode where it had to do a lot with the evolution of Eevee and the Eevee brothers and everything. Oh, Eevee! I hid in the forest so that my brothers wouldn't make it evolve. They're known as the Eevee brothers because they all have evolutions of Eevee. But I just want to be an Eevee trainer. I'll take Eevee back now. There's your Eevee. Alright, I'll give you Eevee back. There you go. Thanks for bringing Eevee back to me. I've decided to tell my brothers that I want to be an Eevee trainer. That way we'll really be Eevee brothers. Good for you, Mikey. Mikey, that's your name, right? Yes, okay, just making sure. Either way, it looks like we have the three Eevee brothers here. What's that say? Evolution Mountain? Evolution Mountain, huh? That's kind of weird. Let's see what on the right side. I, I I've watched the recordings for this a long time ago, so it's been a while, but either way, let's talk to the Eevee brothers then, shall we? Welcome to our Evolution Garden Party! Let's compare attacks! So, in this episode, I guess we're gonna have to fight all three Eevee brothers. We have Swimmer Ranger, so Vaporeon. It's a good thing I actually started out with Bulbasaur. 35, wow. We're actually getting up there in levels now, aren't we? Uh, wow. That's right, I'm gonna make Bulbasaur into Stalazar. Stalazar, what's that? Well, if we can get a Leech Seed off, we'll be okay! Pretty much that tackle will probably be replaced by something like Toxic or something like that. That way it'd just be Leech Seed, to Toxic, I can use Giga Drain to get more, and Synthesis. And that's kind of a common Bulbasaur build. It normally works better with Venusaur and Thick Fat, but you know what? Bulbasaur will work just as well. I don't mind that Sand Attack fully, because as, as, as soon as the Giga Train actually hits that Vaporeon, we won't have much to worry about, now will we? Eh, I don't know, it still seems to be take quite a bit of damage, but that Leech Seed is slowly going to sap away. I mean, I kind of wish I kept Poison Powder, but I gotta see if I have Toxic, because I really would prefer Toxic at this point. I know that sounds kind of weird. Toxic? Why would you want Toxic? It'd be like, boom, boom, boom. So many things happen in here, and it'd be nice. But, yeah. Either way, uh, school started up for me again, like I just said, and graduate assistant duties make it hard for me to actually find a lot of time for myself to do recordings and stuff like this, so... Uh, I apologize in advance if there's not a ton of episodes. It probably will be that way for a little while until I actually have some free time. But either way, tough! Yeah, we beat the swimmer. Yay! Bulbasaur, you're not evolving. Sorry. 
You're never going to evolve. Uh, let me see... Pidgeotto will be next, meaning I probably shouldn't do the electric dude, who's most likely on the... Actually, that's probably the electric dude, so fire dude! This party is for celebrating the evolution of Pokemon with evolutionary stones. I'm guessing the center person is electric, so this is probably Flareon. Yep, it's gotta be. Kindler and Flareon. Besides, in my opinion, Jolteon's like the toughest to take out as it is, and Pidgeotto will have quite a bit of problem with a Jolteon. I mean, honestly, all we really probably need to do is switch to Pikachu and we'll be okay. And I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like Flareon's like the weakest of the EV evolutions. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but it just, I don't know, that's just my opinion. You guys probably have different opinions, but I personally never use Flareon unless I absolutely... Crap, of course I was burned. Unless I absolutely needed a fire type, which I never really did. So I was like, eh, whatever, it works, so... That burn's going to be kind of annoying, so I'm going to switch to Gus, which I hope is still special. Oh, God. I might have to switch. Oh, please survive, Pidgeotto. I need you to get experience. Uh, God. I don't know if I should take the chance with a... You know what? Wing Attack should be able to kill it. I hope. Please. Okay, good. Woo! That was close. Good job, Pidgeotto. Man, I didn't think I would ever get that close to dying, so let's quickly heal at Pidgeotto here, because we definitely need it. Uh, still really haven't, um, words, escape, can't think. I don't want to use a full restore, though. What do I have here? Of course, I probably just don't have any fire, oh, no, 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 no. Probably don't have any fire heals, do I? Uh, just going through quickly here. Never really bought fire heals, which is surprising to me, but... Alright, so let's use a full res Not soft sand, full restore. wonder if that'll... Yeah, that heals health too. So full restores are good, but... Alright, either way, we have the last brother here. If history has taught us anything, that's the only way to survive is to evolve. That isn't true. I have a fully unevolved team, and it's gonna stay that way forever, Mr... That's a cool sprite. Rock for Sparky. And, of course, it'd be a Jolteon, so... I think, uh, I think I'm gonna want Pikachu to handle this one, because the whole dig thing with Pikachu, which I think is awesome that I actually had Pikachu learn dig, and double kick doesn't really do that much, and hopefully static will actually take effect. Actually, I don't know if static can take effect on other electric types, that'd be awesome if it could, but it's just something I do not know. Either way, I hope that Jolteon can deal with a lovely dig to its face with its mouth open. It's like, Arr, why are you hit me with that? Arr. I don't know why I just did that either. Alright, Sand Attack could possibly make me miss that, but you know what? Two, two hit dig, not too bad. And I kind of like the fact that Pikachu can always take out at least the Arbok. If the Weezing didn't have Levitate, then it'd be a lot easier. But boom, Jolteon is gone. Good job, Pikachu. I'm proud of you. Yay! Pidgeotto gains a little bit, Pikachu gains a little bit. Woo! We defeated Rocker Sparky. Yay! So we just beat the Eevee Brothers. That wasn't too bad. Your Pokemon are pretty strong. Maybe you should think about evolving them. Try this! Are they each going to give me a stone? They are, aren't, aren't they? Yes. Well, now we have the three stones, apparently. And I'm not sure if there's anything really else that they're going to do. I think really the only part of this was to get... Uh, Eevee back to Mikey here. So, yeah. That's about it for here. So, I'm gonna go back and heal quickly. So, when we return, we'll be going in the left direction. And we're back, and I didn't realize how far we actually were from Pokemon Center, but that's okay. We go up here, we see an old man here. Groovy. Greetings, child of the universe. What? I'm not alone. I've got my music. Oh my god! She's using the actual polka flute music, too. That's so cool! Okay, I might have went a little fanboyish there, but that's okay. Now that you've heard my music, you have to give me some food. Is it my flute playing at least worth a sandwich? What? You don't have any food? Another free concert. Well, I guess you should hit the road, then. I'm sorry. If I had food, I'd give it to you. I really liked your flute playing. Oh, boy. Anyway, I think... Yeah, this is this episode. Route 20 Farm. That door's apparently locked. Okay, so I guess we'll talk around and see what the heck is going on over here. Hello, buddy. My crops are all dried up. Something is blocking the river from flowing out to them. If I don't get any water, my family will starve. Oh, maybe there's something we can actually do about this. So we have a Snorlax, and we have vines here. 
Now, sleeping Pokemon can only be awoken by a Poke Flute. So we probably need to get that Snorlax out of the way. So maybe our buddy here can help us? What's the rush, dude? A Snorlax block in the river? That little dude is mine. It loves to snooze. I can't even take it for a walk. I just come to wake it up once a month. You want to move it? Here, use my flute to wake it. Free of charge. That's what free love's all about. Well, I mean, the wandering musician actually did wake up the Snorlax, but that's okay. We can deal with it. My flute works wonders for waking up Snorlax. I really like that musician character. Either way, let's... Let's use a poker flute here. Yay! I love the poker flute music. It's just so calm and peaceful. Palm. Wow. Either way. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Now, I know Ash eventually catches a Snorlax, but that's not until, like, the Orange Island. So, this level 30, wow, 30 Snorlax. We'll probably just take a couple of beatings of wing attacks and all that lovely stuff. Then again, Snorlax is kind of a tank beast thing. So we might have a lowly crap that did a lot of damage. That damn Snorlax. What the heck? Alright, um... Again, I don't like resorting to Pikachu, but Pikachu is my strongest Pokemon, especially with that lovely light ball that he has. Oh my god, that hurt. A lot. How can Headbutt do that much damage? That just... Ugh. Come on, I know I have, like, a bunch of super potions, don't I? I almost want to switch to Bulbasaur as well and, like, put a lot of uh, hurt on him. Yawn? Okay, I can deal with Yawn. Yawn isn't too bad. But let's Thunderbolt it and hope that the Light Ball will give me enough oomph to actually take that Snorlax out in one hit. Nope. My gosh, that Snorlax is strong. I almost am going to switch to Bulbasaur and do my stall method. God, three Pokemon to take out a Snorlax. Good, at least it's paralyzed. I know I sped through that, but that's okay. Yeah, we're going Stallazor here. Stallazor instead of... Instead of... Yeah, I mean, it's still... Oh, and now you do the sleep method! So not only am I stalling you, you're stalling yourself! That's just... Wait, does it have a Chestoberry? Why does a wild Snorlax have a Chestoberry with him? I mean, whatever, I'm good with it, but it's like, what the hell? That's not even right! Okay, Giga Drain it. Come on, take it out. Take out the dang thing. Of course not. And I was going to use some kind of headbutt thing to probably try to take Bulbasaur out. Oh my gosh. I can't believe, uh, of all things, a Snorlax is giving me this much problem. And it's probably going to end up using Rest again at one point. Completely screwing the whole stall method. I mean, the stall method will still work. Because Bulbasaur will be able to uh, take a few hits. If I need to, I can use Synthesis. I still wish I really had Toxic. Which actually I might ch check my TMs to see if... I don't think Koga gave me Toxic. If he did, that would be perfect for Bulbasaur, and I'm pretty much all set with Bulbasaur's moveset after that. Oh, again. Again, with the stupid rest. Seriously? Do you have nothing better to do than to loaf around the whole time? Well, you know what? At least you'll stay asleep this time, so maybe I'll switch back to Pikachu, because Pikachu is doing more damage. Yeah, let's do that. But Pikachu's asleep, though. Uh, okay, Bulbasaur, just keep giga-draining it. Hopefully, you'll be lucky in the thing, and by the time the thing wakes up, it's gonna pretty much be a goner. I hope. Of course, knowing my luck with how these Pokemon battles... You know what? Let's just speed this up a little bit. Because it's it's pretty much just gonna be this whole thing over and over. At least I still have... Ugh! Really? Again with this? Ugh! It'll wake up. And probably do some kind of stupid... Again with the rest! Why does it keep doing that? Great, and now it's going to snore, but that's okay. I mean, if it wants to snore, it can. Let me guess, rest? Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, you know what? This time we got him. Holy crap! That should not have been that hard. What the hell was up with that? Sorlax calmed down and gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. The trees behind Sorlax are still blocking the path of the river. Well, that's why we have a lovely thing known as a hatchet. That... My gosh, the water from the... Wow, I only need to do one of them. That's weird to see. Uh, I'll cut the other one just because, because I that might have been some type of a glitch or something, but the river's flowing again. Now I can feed my family. Let me give you something as a little thanks for your efforts. Miracle Seed. Um, I could give the Miracle Seed to Bulbazar, but I think I prefer the Everstone on... No, who has the Everstone on them? Because honestly... 
I think Bulbasaur would be best with the Everstone. Oh, Quick Claw? Eh, I'm fine without that. I'd rather have Bulbasaur have the uh, Ever Everstone. Maybe I'll give Charmander the Quick Claw. Yeah, I don't really... The only reason I've been, I would use the Lucky Egg at this point is for raising purposes, so... Uh, let's see if this door actually unlocks now. No. Alright, um... Uh, will my team be okay? Yeah, my team will be fine. I only have a sleeping Pikachu, but that Pikachu will just wake up in a few turns, and I could probably just use a Poke Flute in battle if it's anything like the others. Alright, either way, let's continue on. And we get to... Dark... Oh, it's this episode, isn't it? Hi, little boy. Yay! Huh? Get back inside the house right now! What if there are Pokemon trainers out? What? Apparently that lady doesn't like Pokemon trainers? The door's locked. The door's locked. Okay, Dark City is apparently very dark because none of these doors seem to be, to be locked. Uh-oh, what's going on? Huh? You're a Pokemon trainer, right? We don't care who you are. If you work in Pokemon, you better get out of our town now. What's wrong with Pokemon trainers, though? What are these kids' problems? They hate Pokemon trainers, but why? Doors locked. What's this say? Dark City Diner. Uh, why is Nurse Joy here? Hmm. Oh, I'm just an innocent bystander, of course. Let me hear Pokemon. Okay, an innocent bystander. That's weird. And you're just standing there randomly? Well, at least we have a nurse here to help us out. Okay. So, here we have somebody. You're a Pokemon trainer? Try not to take offense to our townspeople. They're simply afraid of trainers. Please let me explain. In Dark City, there are two Pokemon gyms. The oh, the Yaz and the Cass gym. I remember this episode now. The two gyms are in the middle of a gang war and will hire any wandering Pokemon trainers as soldiers to battle for them. They claim that whatever gym wins will become an official Pokemon gym. Team Rocket? Hey, Cook, give us a lunch special for 30 people. We have to be at the Cos gym in less than an hour. What? So if we haven't paid our tab, we make us rough you. Don't make us rough you up with our Pokemon. Wow, I could not speak for two seconds. Hot the twerp, stay out of this. All right, so a lot of event battles in this episode. Not any wild Pokemon, just events. I mean, besides that Snorlax, but anywho, we have the same Arbok and Weezing on much higher levels than I really wanted. Holy crap, level 36. Kick its ass, Pikachu. <laughs> and the, the whole thing with Intimidate is not going to really help. Uh, excuse me. I just drank coffee and everything after this, so I'll be a, much more awake. I'm actually recording this at school, to be honest. Because I'm working a little bit later on in a concert as part of my graduate assistantship duties. So I kind of am just in a random room filled with music, since you all know I'm a music major, and... I just spent like four hours organizing the music in here. I'm supposed to store it in boxes, but the problem with the boxes is that, well, they're uh, the wrong size, so I have to let my boss know. But anyway, that's work stuff. You guys care about Pokemon. Or maybe not. Maybe some of you are interested in my life stories and stuff for the all 12 of you that actually watch. But you know what? I appreciate all of your supports. And speaking of supports, if you really do like my episodes, Please shout, put a like out there and comment, because the more... Oh, good, Pidgeotto leveled up. Because the more that... Feather Dance. Well, I didn't know Pidgeotto learned Feather Dance. Uh, let me see. Eh, we'll get rid of Sand Attack. Um, because the more that you guys actually like and comment on my videos, the more it'll appear on other people's feeds, and the better chance I have of getting more supporters, so I might become a little bit bigger. So that's why I've always done the like, comment, subscribe. Also... I have a Facebook page. I'm not sure if any of you actually knew that, but yeah, I, I have a Facebook page, so you should go check me out on there, too. Let's, I haven't used Squirtle in a while. So if you'd like to, um, for some reason I've been having trouble linking my pages to, let's use Raiden Dance first, uh, not linking my pages, but getting uh, the information through YouTube via the, the whole thing there, but I, I always put links to my uh, Facebook and Twitter onto the descriptions below, so if you haven't actually subscribed, well, of course if you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe, but if you haven't, um, or if you're not following at least my Facebook page, you might not know when I have these updates happening, so you guys should totally do that, and that way I could, that way you can keep more in touch with me, 
I know at least I have five or six on Facebook right now, not including myself as one of them. But hey, you know what? It works, and any support you guys can give me will help me maybe even create more videos or stuff like this, because this is a hobby right now, but who knows? If you guys actually like my stuff, it could go bigger. Anyway, while well, I've been rambling on about self-promotion, yay! We've taken out this wheezing thanks to the Rain Dance Squirtle, and normally I wouldn't use this kind of thing with Squirtle, but you know what? It actually works out pretty well, so. But anyway, Justine and James are gone. Uh, maybe the bodyguard game isn't for us. We'll finish you off next time! Team Rocket's blasting off again! Alright. Thank you for saving my restaurant. So, I guess Team Rocket is the guard bodyguards for one of these gyms. Thank god the Nurse Joy is there. Uh, let me see. I think Pidgeotto leveled up, right? Yeah, so currently everyone's on the same level. Sweet! Uh, let me see. So we have the Yaz Gym and the Kaz Gym. I believe... Ash went into the Yaz Gym, I believe. I don't quite remember, but they say nothing. Either way, here is the Yaz Gym member, or leader. I heard how you defeated the Kaz bodyguards like they were nothing. You must work for me, I need your strength. What? You won't join us? If you won't join us, then I'll make sure you don't join anybody else. Oh, so you're one of those type of people, huh, Mr. Yaz? If your name's Yaz. Leader of Yaz Gym, okay. Scyther, yeah, so they have Scyther and Electabuzz. Oh, level 40 Scyther? Holy shit! That's insane. That is really insane. That does a lot of damage, so Feather Dance will make it so your attack is way reduced. I think I'm going to actually like having Feather Dances here, because now when Scyther uses its signature slash move, it's not going to do that much. Oh. Oh great, so it just counters with Sword Dance, which is fine. As at least it, uh, it just has its normal attack power again. God. I don't like this. I mean, I don't mind it, but I don't like it at the same time. In fact, I'm gonna use another Feather Dance on it, because, ha! How did I know you would do that, Scyther? So, I will counter your Sword Dance with a Feather Dance. It's apparently the fight of the dances. Pidgeotto's dancing moves versus Scyther's sword dancing moves. I am so weird sometimes. But you know what, I guess that's kind of part of what makes me me. Okay, so Slash would do normal damage, but Slash has that awful, awful chance of critting, which I hate about it. Honest, I think Quick Attack should be able to take out Scyther now at this rate. I never thought the uh, first priority moves would be something I'd ever take, but you know what, they work. So Quick Attack... Oh, it didn't take it out! Please survive, Pidgeotto. Oh my gosh. That thing is strong. Okay, Charmander, get out there. I wasn't expecting that. That probably only has like one stinking HP left, so... <laughs> Agility, you don't need any more speed there, Scyther. Fetch since his flamethrower is just going to kick your ass anyway. Because you're a flyer. Alright, good job, Charmander. I'm proud of you. Now, I think Charmander's episode of Evolving is pretty soon. I don't think it's too far off now. It's the first time my sight has been frightened so badly. Oh yeah, because it was the Pikachu catch-up thing, if I remember. This isn't over. Yeah, it's Jim attack. Oh god. Oh god. That is a lot of trainers. Alright, anyway. So they each have one Pokemon. Not that big of a deal. And they probably all have these fighting moves, which honestly, I can see like Squirtle and all of them probably taking him out. Uh, in fact, I mean, Pidgeotto's the only one who really... Ended up dying there. Sky Uppercut! Oh my gosh! I don't want to send out Charmander while it's raining, so... Oh my god, seriously? I do not like Hitmonchan anymore. Machoke! Oh my god! I hope I don't actually lose this! There's actually a chance I might lose this! Uh, unless Bulbasaur can hand... Well, you know what? I should be okay. Mind reader, really? God! God, why does that do so much damage? Okay. Stalazor, let's go. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. What do you think of that? How could we lose? Well, I just defeated all the gym leaders with losing some of my Pokemon. Gosh, they were strong. I was not expecting that. All right, let's just heal quickly. I just... Ugh, whatever. All right, so I guess we're going over to the next gym and taking care of them too? All right, mister. I heard you beat the Oz gym leader. You must be a tough kid to beat him. Now let me take you on. 
Not even like a want to join me or anything? No, just take them on. Let me guess. Electabuzz? Yep. Because for some reason, Scyther and Electabuzz both hate the color red. I know that sounds really odd, but I'm not joking. And because they both hate that color, um, Ash used that to advantage because of Pikachu with a bottle of ketchup that Pikachu became obsessed with for some reason. Yeah, I know, weird synopsis and everything, that's kind of what happened. But Pikachu became obsessed with a bottle of ketchup and used it against the uh, Scyther and Electabuzz. And because they hate the color red, they turned on their trainers and everything, at least during the last fight. So, uh, great, I'm static these guys are tough. Well, they're also on level 40, so it makes sense, but... Eh, Bulbasaur should be able to take out the rest. Should be able to be fine with the rest of the Selectabuzz, though, so... Yeah. It's a good thing I did put the Everstone mech on Bulbasaur, because the Everstone beefs up the defense and special defense of Pokemon, so... That kind of even helps uh, Bulbasaur even more out. I'd rather take defensive measures than offensive measures with someone as stalling as Bulbasaur. And I never really thought of making Bulbasaur into something like that before. So if you start out with Bulbasaur, make it to a Stalasaur. You might actually be very impressed with it. And that Electabuzz is gone, thank goodness. Three of my Pokemon will receive boosts. Uh, Bulbasaur is on 35. Pikachu, nothing. Hey, impossible. Ah, oh, losing makes me so mad. I'm going to go battle that punk right now. Okay, so because you lost, you want to battle people. That sounds just great. Oh, boy. Ah, that doesn't look good. I'm only going to say this once, you guys. Kaz Gym's going to be the official gym of Dark City. Save yourself some trouble and just clear out now. I'm afraid you have things all mixed up. You're the ones who had better clear out and fast. Leave now or we'll crush you like the slimy insect you are. Oh, I've heard enough. Let's go. Today's the day we finally destroy you. Hold it. Huh? What? I'm the inspector from the official Pokemon League, Nurse Joy! Nurse Joy's a official Pokemon League inspector? Really? I could never allow people who use Pokemon for nothing but street fights to open an official Pokemon League gym. Thanks to Ash, your fighting was quelled. Only if you're willing to start over and rebuild this town and your reputation can you be considered to become an official gym again. Of course we are. We'll make things right. Kaz Gym! Yaz Gym! Return! Ash! Thank you for your help in, in trying to reunite these gym leaders and stop their bickering. Now Dark City can become a lot brighter. Please take this as my thanks. A soothe bell, cool. For return type things. Thank you, Ash. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Let's just see what our lovely friend at the uh, diner, if he has to say anything else about thank you for resolving these problems or something. Thank you for saving my restaurant. What do the kids say? Thank you so much, Pikachu. Thank you so Oh! That's right, at the end of the episode, they were thinking Pikachu, like, Ash had absolutely nothing to do with anything that just happened, which is kind of funny. I wonder if the gym leaders are going to say anything different. Will you unite the Kaz and Jad gyms in order to become true official league gyms? Okay, so they'll probably, let me guess, probably say the same thing, right? Yep. Alright, well, that's about it for this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said before, like, subscribe, comment. Visit my Facebook and my Twitter pages. All of that will be in the uh, links below into the description. So, until next time, this is Legendary China, signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video. There we go, we made it. Team Rocket. You again! You won't stop us from stealing these Pokemon. See if they can handle us this time. Go, Porygon Zero! Porygon Zero. Oh, oh, that's right! The Team Rocket actually did steal Porygon for this, so now I guess we're fighting a Porygon! A level 40 Porygon. What? Why are we fighting a level 40 Porygon? That is just awful. I do not-